Hello viewers, my name is Tanbir, you are C, Techmaster BD. Now I am going to tell you about 10 bit ticket counter. This is also called Johnson 10 bit ticket counter, in short, a counter. Let's learn some counting techniques about 4017IC. I hope you are enjoying your C, Techmaster BD. Now uh, I'm going to implant this IC in the breadboard. So the IC is implanted. Now uh, it's uh, perfectly integrated with this breadboard. So this is positive and this is negative. Now I'm take two wire to connect positive and negative with the breadboard positive and negative section now this for this orange wire i have to connect the ground wire to active low input uh, from active low input this is uh, also ground and uh, the white wire is connected positive side of this breadboard to other side of my positive breadboard side so um, i have to connect the orange another one uh, it is active low for the jumping wire to ground now it is finally connected my with ground uh, now take two 100 ohm resistor total 200 ohm resistor is needed for discharge the input levels of duty cycle of percent high so this is uh, this is for uh, discharging slow discharge rate now take a one foot switch to triggering input positive high duty cycle now I'm um, connect this now connect this push button with the positive si side of my voltage source. Now take a 0.22 microfarad capacitor using purpose of filter. Uh, by taking the positive input duty cycle, it can be it cannot be refreshed with my push. That's why I need a duty positive fresh duty cycle or positive enable high. That's why I um, need a filter uh, for triggering input now take a wire to connect input with the push button to IC now it's complete on the other hand we need some output and uh, also need a reset pin wiring uh, this is so important because uh, we uh, have to connect the purpose of limitation uh, how uh, what kind of number how much number it can be count so I see publishers or uh, integrated formula we I have to uh, know about this I see it can be decade counting as a 0 to 9 that's why I need uh, to show about how it is get counting or not that's why I need for LED or something else so for LED ground I have to remove this wire and replace with a, a tiny resistor to protect LED with the 5 volt logics so this is complete now take one LED to show fast decade count as my push so this is the LED that I have implanted in my breadboard I see pin out I can upload with my description description below so this is a uh, output zero so I have to connect this valve with the zero pin with this IC now I have not test uh, to powering this IC it's working or not the circuit it's not working because reset pin is not connected the limitation with limit so I uh, if I triggering the input it's not worked properly then because my reset pin is not connect with the limitation so at first I have to connect the reset pin with the one or two pin because my LED decade counting as a zero one two that's why uh, that's limitation is properly worked this is nice working out place
for this filter uh, it is properly worked done but without filter uh, you are see the, there has some noise so that's why I have to connect this filter uh, with the input pin to refresh input and positive duty high cycle now it is wor properly worked so what about the more numbers about the counting for if else you guys are see the my first limit is on the two uh, second pin of this IC that's why the first pin is also worked with 0 to 1 decade count done properly now I have to set my limitation the next point to connect third pin with the third bulb this is second pin also and I am connect this uh, limitation with third pin with this IC that's why 0 1 2 0 1 2 is properly worked for this limitation when I removed it's not working properly because it's not count as a reset that's why reset pin is very important part of this uh, system now I have to connect the fourth pin in the integrated form of third pin of this IC third logics of this IC now I connect this yellow pin as a sixth number of this IC so logic sixth that's why we are not to show about the fifth pin or sixth pin is not available that's why uh, after glowing the fourth LED this is blink this is not blinking or as a time gap you would see but it's properly worked because I'm uh, limit this yellow wire to a fourth of the logic side of this IC that's why 0 1 2 3 4 it's properly worked so this is perfectly done one is it is it is zero one two three zero one two three see uh, it is the best common more efficient thing uh, what we are going to do about this IC with these sets of limitation or LED chaser or some kind like, like that uh, you can make all kinds of projects or uses uh, to property save to know for this IC so viewers thanks for watching see you in the next video hope you are enjoyed please comment